Okay, today I'm going to use a combustion chamber cleaner on my 99 Pontiac Trans Am. It's got about 156,000 miles on it, and uh, I, I run one of these through it a couple times a year to uh, clean off any kind of hard carbon or uh, any kind of buildup that's on the, the, the valves, the uh, cylinder head, uh, the crown of the piston, any of those things that can create hot spots and uh, eventually lead to uh, knocking and pinging. So. Some people like to go in through the, the brake booster back here. I don't find that's nearly as convenient as uh, the PCV valve, um, especially because I've had to uh, uh, engineer uh, a PCV valve uh, from uh, hoses and uh, things like that just because uh, the, the, the dealer wants a hundred and something dollars for the original setup, which is absolutely ridiculous. So anyway, um, Go ahead and pull that off, and you know, you'll hear a sucking. That's normal because uh, now you have an enormous vacuum leak. Uh, this particular kit, uh, this is a, the, the Berryman uh, Professional Combustion Chamber Cleaner. It comes out of a three-step kit. I'm just going to show you the, the one step here. Uh, very simple to use. You uh, just put this part into the bottle, which uh, you should already have shaken up, and. Um, the kit comes with a couple of different hoses um, just to, to use as adapters to uh, to get this piece into whatever you're going into. I don't need it. Um, I just have to be able to get in here without uh, cutting my arm off. And there we go. And you'll see it immediately. Uh, if you can see that starts uh, sucking out chemical. The hose is no longer uh, clear. It is uh, it's white with the chemical. So. Um, it's going to take um, probably five to ten minutes for this to run through. Uh, I usually let it idle and just uh, race the engine here and there a couple of times, but you don't need to go crazy with it because that's not how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it and let this run through, and uh, I'll come back and see you guys. Okay, so we're just about done with the combustion chamber cleaner. It's um, got about a third of the the can left to go, but I wanted to say uh, while this is finishing up that this is what a lot of people talk about uh, when they want to sea foam their car. Uh, they'll use uh, the sea foam motor treatment as a, a top cylinder cleaner, and I, I just I don't see a whole lot of point in doing that. Uh, you know, the ingredients of sea foam aren't aren't magical, and you know, if you read the can, it, it does everything. You know, you put it in your gas, you put it in your oil, you, you, you can do, uh, it's good for diesel, it's good for two-stroke, good for four-stroke. I would rather use something that's specifically designed as a combustion chamber cleaner if I want to clean my combustion chamber. The Seafoam has petroleum oil, which isn't going to do anything for cleaning. It has uh, a light uh, petroleum distillate like VMP naphtha, which is great if you need to clean your paint brushes, but uh, it doesn't have any real sol solvency as far as uh, cleaning the kinds of deposits that, that build up in the combustion chamber. And then it's got uh, isopropyl alcohol, which, you know, is a fine solvent for some things, but again, that, that's not the kind of thing that you're going to really clean your combustion chamber with. It's not going to go after hard carbon. Um, this is a, a, a product that was chemically formulated to be a combustion chamber cleaner and nothing else. Um, it, it's got some aromatic hydrocarbons, it's got some ketones, it's got alcohol, it's got a little bit of water which uh, helps give you that steam clean kind of a, kind of a clean that um, oh, and it looks like looks like we're just about done here and I don't know if you can see that in the hose but it's um, mostly sucking air now out of the can so we're essentially done. Uh, one thing that you'll notice when you uh, when you drive the car, and I do recommend driving it uh, immediately after doing this, um, you'll see a spy hunter-like white smoke come out of the back, and that, in part that's some of the water that's going into it uh, and, and giving it that steam clean, but it's also some of the garbage that, uh, that has passed partially through the system but not entirely out the exhaust. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and um, hopefully I can come back and... Uh, show you the the white smoke as I'm pulling away so. all right got the car put back together and I'm gonna see if this will work I've never tried to video the the smoke out the back but 
go ahead and get uh, get rolling here and get out to the little bit of a thoroughfare and I'll flip the camera around and see if, uh, see if this will turn out. So, here we go. And... Well, I'm watching the rearview mirror. There we go, right there. Hopefully, that'll show up. That wasn't very impressive, but uh, if you really get on it, I'm, I'm still in the neighborhood, don't want to get too crazy here, but when you really get on it, you, you will get a, a spy hunter like uh, white smoke out the back, and it, it's absolutely nothing to be alarmed about. That's just how the product works. Now, let's see if I can get on the access road here and really open it up for a second. about 4,000 RPMs. I guess that's all we're going to get today. That that really tells you how clean the engine is because I haven't done this in probably six or eight months and uh, there just wasn't that much that came out. So um, doing this from time to time with a, a running a quality fuel on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you can really keep the, the combustion chamber uh, uh, sparkling clean. So there you go. Um, I hope you guys will give this product a whirl next time instead of uh, trying something that's... Uh, you know, a, a miracle cure for everything, which um, generally doesn't work very well on any one thing at all. So give it a whirl. Thanks. Bye.